When it comes to solar, the future is bright, especially in North Carolina. It's the second largest producer of solar energy, only behind California. But when a tariff or a tax on a specific import was announced on solar panels from China, things suddenly looked a little dim, particularly for Stu Miller of Yes Solar Solutions. They install solar systems for homes and businesses. Although we'll probably be able to absorb some of the cost increase, I, I do think that uh, there will be higher prices, which could lead to uh, less adoption of solar in the state. And unfortunately, that could lead to loss of jobs. A lot of jobs. The Solar Energy Industries Association says 23,000 jobs could be eliminated this year alone. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, but could that happen? Well, we'll get to that in a bit. Now, what doesn't make sense to some is why. Solar has made about 260,000 jobs in the United States since solar became a viable thing. It's a $29 billion industry. Solar has, has proven to lower electricity costs for everybody, and particularly here in North Carolina. So the whole, the whole impact could be that uh, we feel higher electricity prices here in North Carolina. And if there's a 5% decrease or a 10% decrease, we're talking uh, a lot of jobs. The Trump administration says China is making way more solar panels than the United States. Eh, about 80% more, give or take. So in an effort to boost American solar manufacturing, the tariff was placed. Is it a good idea? Well, we asked an economics professor from NC State. I don't think this is the end point. I think what they want is a, is a um, trading world where we get something, perhaps access to Chinese markets, opening up Chinese markets more to U.S. companies, which has been an issue. We get something in return for reducing these tariffs. And? Now, uh, the other thing that could happen is that the administration might want to encourage foreign producers to bring that production to the U.S. And that could be one consequence, which would perhaps be a win-win for U.S. jobs, as well as a win for, um, in, for example, with respect to solar uh, users. So do we need to ring an alarm bell? I think it's too soon to, to ring the alarm bell. I do think that those who are advocates of solar power are, are disappointed, are, are going to be disappointed. As for Stu and his North Carolina-based business. This whole solar industry is like riding a solar coaster and uh, we're constantly being challenged by either political factions or fossil fuel industry groups. It's just one, one uh, barrier after another. It's just another day at the office. The tariffs work like this, 30% for the first year, then 25% for the following year, then on to 20% and ultimately 15%.